I am feeling very punk rock today. Uh, for whatever reason. Oh, there's 11 people here already. That's pretty cool. Ugh. There looks good. Alright. So I'm doing a hack of stuff. Because I can. Knuckles was here a second ago, but he has gone. Um, so I'm going with, I've got a lot of this, like, vinyl I got from Spotlight. Bye, honey. All right. You can say stuff. All it's right. okay. Cool. Love you. I'll see you later. Right, oh, a mini nap in your chair. That's awesome. <laughs> um, so I have actually put my logo very subtly embroidered in this. You can embroider on this stuff, uh, but it doesn't necessarily sit flat. So just keep that in mind if you guys are going to use this. Hello, everybody! Um, so somebody asked me how to do clips on the top of this. So that's what we're doing today. Um, I went with... I don't know. I just I was feeling this fabric, and I didn't know what to do with it. And if you look really closely, it's very kind of... Feels dragony. So I'm doing a dragon scale with the faux hide to make it look leathery. I don't really know where I'm going with this. I just think it's going to look cool. Oh, thank you, Margaret. I'm feeling very punk rock. So I'm like, red lips. I actually just wanted to wear this. I love this. It's got like, these are like little jewel things and it's got a cool skull. So, But it's cold, so I had to put this over the top. So I'm feeling a bit punk rock. I'm cool with it. The, the many faces of Tori, it's a thing. Don't worry about it. Um, so, I got all this stuff. Let's start with some strapping. So, for the top straps, instead of doing a, well, a waist belt, we're just going to have little clips, which I can't show you at the start of the video because I don't have one. So, I am going to do two six-inch pieces, but I've left it as a 12-inch piece to make it easier and quicker to sew. <laughs> you had me on mute. That's okay. Surprise you aren't all sick of me talking yet, to be honest. I'm a bit of a rambler. I don't know where I just put my other snips. They were here a second ago, I swear. Um, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm putting some double-sided tape in the center. And then I'm going to put... I'm not dealing with no fake nails, people. So just, if I start getting angry, it's because of that. With no fake nails, I can't pick anything off. My fingers get too close to the needle and I get a bit nervous. I miss my nails. I hate lockdown. All right. We love the rambling. But that's good because it's not going to stop. All right. So I'm folding both sides into the center. You can't see because of all the other crap in my way. Usually this stuff sits on the table where this, um, the laptop is, but if I need to read comments, I need to see the laptop. Or I need to get a tablet holder to sit next to me. It could go either way. It's cutting out the top of my head. I can tilt it up a bit. How's that? Is that better? You're still missing my head. But I need you to be able to see what we're sewing. So I've cut this at three quarters of an inch and we're going to lay it over the top so it looks cool. This is where I'm going with this. It could have even been half an inch, uh, but half an inch moves a lot and is trickier to sew, just so you all know. All right, so I'm going to lay this over the join so we can't see it. I'm going to line it up at the end. I'm going to make sure my tails are at the back and I'm going to hold them, which is something you're meant to do when I never do it. Look at me go, behaving myself. And then we're going to line it up. And I'm just going to stitch down the edge. See, I can't even do this as fast. Fake nails. It's a thing. I miss them a lot. <sighs> they hold everything. It's like you've got your own little notches. Ooh, you got your order. That's fantastic. Um, I have ordered all the stuff for the rest of the subscription boxes 
and I'm going to make five extra because I know a lot of you really want one. Uh, and the next one, I'm just going to make up 60, I'm thinking. Just be done with it. All right, so I'm going to chop that little excess bit off. And then I'm going to fold this in half and chop it in half. Probably not with those scissors. Probably with class A scissors because it's uh, vinyl. And we all know you need the right tool for the job. And these are the right tool to cut vinyl. All right. So let's do the other strap. So this is my leg strap. You can actually skip this strap if you don't want it on there. Uh, if you just want it to hang from your belt clips, you don't have to do this one. I'm going to do it, obviously. Uh, is it your army base or Oz that's on lockdown? Uh, my area. So the Mitchell Shire. It's not just the army base. It's the whole area. Like mum lives two hours away and she's not in lockdown. All right. So we're going to pull that off. And then fold it into the middle. I'm going with gun metal. Oh, not gun metal, sorry. I'm going with bronze hardware because I just I feel like it's going to complete this look. And I'm imagining the person that buys this is going to buy it for like a costume if they do, you know, live action role playing or something. Or they go to like a Renaissance fair. This is where it is in my brain once it's finished. Um, and I wanted to use the, the faux brown hide because. I think the colour suits better than the Brazil nut brown. It's a little bit too light. We are going to make a whippersnapper, but I'm hacking it to do some different stuff. I'm also going to show you how to do a cool accent um, with your, what's this called, template. Because uh, I don't do paper templates of my own stuff anymore. I have them all in acrylic, but you can do it with paper. It'll be the same thing. You could print an extra one and just permanently have it as a template. I could add it as an add-on template, I suppose, now that I think about that. All right. So we're just smoothing this out. Uh, it's going to rain today, so no horse stuff today. Today I'm going to finish my Nan's Temptress, which I'm halfway through. I've been hacking that too because she didn't want stuff so i'm changing it a little bit with the temptress even though that's not what we're doing today what i did was i cut two extra base pieces and then backed them together and cut a 14 inch strip of vinyl and i've made myself a little slip pocket so you don't need a new pattern piece for that thought that was kind of fun all right so again this is going to go on here I just have a lot of patterns. I still have about a hundred patterns I have not done videos for yet. Um, I have a lot of requests for different ones. I have a lot of, I was looking today and I still have to do a lot of those sewing candy videos. I have a lot to do. I don't know what video I'm doing tomorrow. I still haven't quite decided. I have a few options. I can do the Tinker Sling. I can do Zoella by KM Designs because I'm obsessed with her shoulder strap and that's the whole reason I want to make that video. Um, the There's a clutch and I can't think of what it's called. I have printed it out. Uh, the True Wristlet maybe? Is that what it's called? I don't know. It's a newish release. It's popped up. Anyway, they asked me could I do a video. So it's on my list along with like a million other things. Now just keep in mind that this stuff stretches the uh, top vinyl. Always a fun one. Backstitch. The second side always goes faster because it's already put in place. You're just top stitching it down. And backstitch. Where's Amanda? I don't know, Mother. Maybe she had to work and can't sneakily pop on or something. 
All right, so there's our second strap. I'm going to grab my strap adjuster. I'm going to use a lot of rivets on this um, because I think it's going to look cool. Literally why. This hardware goes really well with this stuff. I'm getting a vibe. And I feel like rivets are very, like, old school and will look cool. So we're going to do rivets. I'm just going to hold that there, get my rivets, of which there are plenty. Question, with the vinyl, do you need to use a leather needle or is it universal needle? Okay. If you use a jeans needle, jeans needles are thicker and so they punch bigger holes. Jeans needles will work for this. Leather needles aren't really necessary for this stuff. So jeans needles are like a size 100 for domestic machines. I've got a size 18 in. This is the biggest needle this machine takes. It won't go any bigger because it's not technically designed to make bags. Uh, it just suffers through it. Uh, what am I looking for? Hole punch. Ugh. All right, so I'm going to punch some holes. I don't need it to match anything, so I'm not going to measure where the holes are. I'm literally just going to kind of guess. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. I got an email this morning when I woke up. These cam presses are on sale in Green Beans Australia. For anyone that's been umming and ahhing if they want one, they are on sale. So now might be a time to get one. Because I know a lot of people ask me about them, so... That is the news that I have about them all. They are on sale at Green Beans Australia because I get a lot of spam emails. So maybe today is the day that you purchase one and maybe Santa could bring it to you. Stick it under your tree. The worst case scenario is your needle's not thick, uh, strong enough and it snaps. That's like literally worst case scenario. Try it out. You'll be right. See, I just, I feel like the rivets are really giving it the vibe I'm looking for. <sighs> no, that's right. I thought I just did it wrong then. My brain had a little meltdown. We're fine, we're fine. All right, so put that on. Up one side, down the other. Grab this one, stick it on, fold it over, do a rivet. And then that's our leg strap done and we don't have to look at it again. And then we'll do these ones. For them, we're gonna need our spacing rivets uh, template, not rivet. I knew what I meant. I'm obsessed with these. You guys are gonna see them a lot. You don't have to buy one. You can do it manually. I'm just, I'm always gonna use it because I have it. All right, so under we go, on we go. Uh, uh. Hello everyone that's just joined the party. We are making Whippersnapper for anyone that uh, missed that memo. Somebody recently requested I do a hack, so I'm doing a bunch of hacks in this. And by a bunch, I mean a lot. This will not be made in the normal way I make a whippersnapper. So just please be mindful of that. That is one strap done. I'm going to stick it aside out of my way. Then we're going to grab our other ones here and these. And we're going to find the side that we back stitched on. And that's the side we're going to put up the top. So like this, this is where we're going with it. Uh, and then this side will be sewn in because we didn't back stitch the stitching. You were waiting on Facebook. I did put up a link in Facebook already. I was onto that this morning. Ow. Oh, miss my fake nails. My fingers hurt because I had to rip the nails off, like the fake ones. So now they hurt. It's just not ideal. All right. That didn't draw anything. Hold that thought. Pick a different color. No. Come on. 
<sighs> Get something else to draw on. I'm still just going to do a single rivet because these are large rivets. Oh, I'm going to lose my mind in a minute. Since the pen doesn't want to draw, I'm going to stab a hole instead. This will not defeat me. I am on a roll. All right. One, one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. There. And then this one. So again, the back stitched end is where you want to line this up with. So to there. Stab a hole. One, two, three, four. And stab a hole. That's just a marking hole. Um, the rivets need an actual piece cut out, so stabbing this through won't help. Uh, but it does mark the space for me. Ugh. Right. Thank you, Amanda. I'm feeling very punk rock. I have these moods. I go from super girly to I feel like a badass, and today I feel like a badass. So I have dressed appropriately. What can I say? I'm a weirdo. I'm cool with it. I also just really love my black hair. It gives me a punk rock vibe automatically. Alright. I don't know what, I could just switch these out. I think I'm just being lazy. Right, so we're going to put that on. And then stab it through the hole. And then through the other hole. I'm up shout. I cut this out this morning. I was not at all prepared for a video today. And I've been to the shop and got myself my energy drink, which I've only had like a sip of, despite my speed talking. Because I would like to do a second video today. I'm gonna record one. I'm gonna message my husband and tell him he's not allowed to come home for lunch. So that I've got the whole day to do stuff. Alright. So these are going to be my top straps. So again, we're going to put them aside. I might actually put them in the bowl so I don't forget about them. In Australia. Austria. Ooh, that's cool. Hello, Austria. Ha! So cool. I love that we get people from all over the world in here. Makes me happy. Weirdly happy. I know, but whatever. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to do this because I don't think I've ever shown you. So, this is my flat piece. And what I want is I want like a chunky angled accent of scales on there. So this is a, quite literally a scrap piece that you would normally throw away, but we're not doing that. So, what I want to do, people have debate about which way the scales go. I'm not getting into that today. You can do it however you like. So what I want to do is I want to line, get a straight edge, and then just mark the width of this, right? So like that lines up to there and that lines up to there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this back to where I can get the most accent. And I'm going to rule my point. So this is already going to be shorter, so it already fits. Then I'm going to move it back again and mark another one. Now this can be as thick or as thin as your heart desires. There is no official rule about this. And then I'm just going to mark. You might want to get a ruler for this bit. You want to mark it in a little bit. So I'm going to mark it in half an inch. And then I'm going to make it half an inch. So you're measuring it an inch and half an inch from the edge. Like this. I'm going to make sure that that's a full half inch now that I've got a, an official ruler going on. Because I was slightly off. So now I've got all these crazy lines. But it is going to work, I promise. So what you want to do is you want to chop. Not the outside one. You want to chop the half inch line like that. And then your point, which was your original line that you drew. 
and then half inch in like that and then we cut out the inside part and this is going to make a cool little accent and I did this on the one I wear to my horses all the time I quilted it so it's black vinyl that I quilted with green thread and then I did this cool little um accent out of glitter green glitter vinyl because I'm excessive and it's fine the other option is is if you wanted to you could use this piece and stick it up there like that and you'd get like the opposite kind of an accent but I'm gonna use this one and see how it's just gonna sit on there now you got to remember that this is gonna be smaller once we've taken our seam allowance so even though it looks a little bit out of place at the moment it is gonna look fabulous because I've done this before Oh. Hello everybody. I love this jacket. This was a gift uh, from my husband's auntie, Auntie Peg. She randomly sends me clothes. This is the favouritest thing she's ever sent me. I love it. It makes me very happy. Alright, so I'm just going to use some double side tape to hold this in place. Where are my snips? Can anyone, did anyone notice where I put my snips? Because they're AWOL and it's annoying me. never organized am i sorry guys all right that that they go together they go together i'm gonna need that no snips oh, it's all right i have another pair i have like four pairs of snips around my house because i lose them just like i nearly lost the accent piece Look at me go, my goodness. Quilting's fun, quilting vinyl. I still have to quilt my um, picnic rug and I really want to do it because I've started having Sunday picnics at the horses. So it might be my weekend job to actually quilt and finish off my picnic rug. Tori, Victoria lives in Victoria. I do. All right, so we're just going to line that up so that your point is at the point. Obviously, that's the important center point part. Need to make sure we do that. Okay, so now I'm going to top stitch around the accent. So I'm going to stitch both the outside, an eighth of an inch, and the inside line so that it won't move. And again, you don't have to do this. I just think it looks cool. Another option is if you were, what I actually wanted to do today, except I had no fabric to match, was I was going to do a spider web um, applique on here. Like I had a whole thing planned in my head. And then I woke up and realized I have no fabric that has a spider or looks like spooky to do it. So this is why we've now ended up with this really cool dragon one instead. But I had a whole thing going because I was going to try and promote the fact that you've still got time to enter my spooky competition. Um, you just pick any of my patterns, do something spooky, and hashtag seems legit spooky, and you can win. The first prize is a hundred dollar voucher to my shop. So I thought that was fun. Right, it's on. It's fabulous. Now we're gonna take this piece. And some clips. I am going to clip this because now it's got layers. It's going to sit funny and I don't want it to move. Actually, I'm going to put the vinyl right sides down. Uh, but if you haven't entered my competition yet, it doesn't actually officially finish until the day before Halloween. My time. Everything's always my time. Um, so if you want to enter, get onto that. Um, I have judges, so it's not just me judging. I'm going to have, like, a couple of us, and we're going to pick the top three. Um, so, yeah. Join the competition. You can use free patterns of mine. It doesn't technically have to cost you anything to enter. Ah, uh, ran out of bobbin thread. Well, at least I notice now and not later. That's a good start, I suppose. Okay. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. I even had 
my heavy rock music going this morning. I was very much feeling it. I don't like it when I play music in my backgrounds. All right, always lift your foot when you're winding a bobbin and it moves so that you don't damage the underside of your foot. here at midnight. Welcome. I'm also assuming they're going to be bomb testing today because they were doing it yesterday. So if you just hear random noises, ignore them. I do. Not half the time I can't even hear them because I crank the music so loud. All right. Pull it through, snip it off. I don't re-thread my machine. For anyone that's never been here before and didn't know that, I don't re-thread it. I just tie the old one onto the new one and pull it through. Never try and pull it through the needle. You will break your needle or you'll bend it, which is worse. At least when you break it, you know it's broken. If you bend it and you're not paying attention, you can damage some stuff in your machine. All right. Let's try that again. Considering it was only six stitches, I just went over them all again. It's fine. I'm doing a quarter inch seam allowance on this. It's my pattern, so I'm allowed to tell you that if I want to. I was listening to Sum 41 at Original Lincoln Park this morning. That's where I was feeling because I'm old. As far as music and Lincoln Park, I don't like their later albums. It's always about their first two. I was feeling it. My poor neighbours. I'm sure they're sick of my music by now. All right, so I've trimmed off the excess. And then we're going to turn it through. Thank you, Patty. This jacket is fabulous. I should make one. And like, I should make them in like all different colours. It'd be so cool. I didn't make this one though. This one's a store bought one. Alright. Uh, see, it's going to look awesome. See how the accent now doesn't look so out of place now that I've taken into account the seam allowance. Looks much cooler. Alright. Uh, decorative stitch length. We're going to top stitch around the edge. I don't understand what Stein just said. I get the Karina part, and then the rest I do not understand, so I'm sorry. How old am I? I am 33. Needle down and pivot. One day on these lives, we are going to play Tori saying bingo, because I don't necessarily mean to say the same stuff all the time. I just think it would be fun. All right, top stitch around there. And that way it sits nice and flat. See, now how fun is that flap? It looks awesome. I like it. Whatever. Anyway, so that's how you can use that to make cool accents. Everybody would have to have three sayings, and you'd all have different three, and then first to three. <laughs> Except I can't know, because then I'll know, right? Anyway. I'm just crazy. It's fine. All right, so I am going to use my 201 press studs. I have this week purchased uh, the dies for these because everything that I use that requires dies, I've now decided I will also supply dies so that you can just buy it all at the same place and you know it's going to fit. This is my latest thing that I'm going to do for you. So I have purchased the dies for the 201 um, snap tabs. These are just the stronger press that, uh, like press snap thing than the snap fasteners. So if you're on a motorbike going 100 k's an hour or more, 
Um, these, I'm going to ensure that it doesn't flap open. Whereas I've tried it with a magnet. Magnets aren't strong enough and it flaps open. So these are like extra strong to make sure that it's not going to drop any of your stuff. And because of that, I have decided that I need the dies for you all so you don't have to try and find them. Uh, so we fix all cam presses. So apparently there's different types of presses and the cam press is the one that I use. So these will fit cam presses. There's different size bits here. Um, there's another brand of which I can't currently think of. But either way, it doesn't fit. But these will fit the cam press ones. And for those that come in late, the cam presses are on sale at Green Beans Australia. Uh, I got an email this morning. So for those that have been umming and ahhing, it's on sale. You could get one. Okay, where are... I've got so many dies, people. Like, each little section is a different one. I have, haven't even used these yet. We need to play with these. These are triangle studs. So you have to get a special triangle die. So I'm going to try them on a bag one day soon. And it's going to be fabulous. Right. They're not it. They're not it. These are it. Here we go. So these ones come with four parts. Finger cuffs. That'd be cool. I'm going to put that one in. And I never remember which one goes with which. So the easiest way to remember this is to just pick it up. That one goes with that one. And that one goes with that one. So the idea of a perfect cam press is it will pick up the top uh, bit. That's what it's meant to do anyway. So that's the bottom and that one. So I'll do that in a minute. I push this through and then I'll lay it down. See, yard sales are cool. And then under we go and squish we do. And voila. And I've centered it over the accent um, because it looks fabulous. No other reason. I just want it to look cool. So that's my whole basis for everything I'm doing today. Let's take our actual pocket piece. I'm going to move them out of my way. And the scissors and like everything I've got lying around. It's nice to have a clean space. I'm going to do this pocket differently. So for anyone that has got this pattern uh, and struggles with the final top stitch, please pay attention because we're going to make it differently so that's no longer a problem. Hi, Karen. I'm going to clip the whole way around this, just so you know. I have a plan. This is not going to sit in the seam allowance this time, so we're going to sew it differently. Just so you all know. Alright, we are clipped together. I am going to start at the top of the bottom, uh, probably the top, and I'm going to leave a gap in the middle to turn it through, but we're going to stitch the whole way around this on a joining stitch length and not a decorative one. Needle down, pivot, and cross. And across, needle down. So we're gonna leave a gap so that we can turn it through. The bigger the gap, the easier it is to turn through 
but usually the harder it is to seal back up. So you've got to try and play that balancing game. I feel like you probably, everybody here is already a subscriber. I have 11,500 subscribers. You guys are awesome. So I'm just chopping off the excess in the corners so it gets all nice and pointy. I like pointy. Uh, and you have to cut it at more than a 45 degree angle because otherwise it won't work out for you. Never. Mum can never get here early enough to do a live. Yeah, but not everybody has Facebook and that's okay. I don't mind if people don't join my Facebook. You just miss out on all the information because that's where I pass it. I need my, my pokey stick. I need my pokey stick. I love this thing. For anyone that hasn't got a pokey stick yet, you should get onto it. They are amazing. This one is a flute cleaner. It pokes everything out without stabbing through the um, stitches. And also in lockdown. That is true. The fabric shop in town is actually not currently open. Makes my life way difficult. Can't just pop down and go shopping for beautiful fabrics. Even though I'm on a fabric band. So it's probably secretly helping me. But still. So this fabric I actually got at the local quilt shop. Um, it was on sale for half price because she was getting rid of it. It's pretty. I really like it. She had it in blue. But I missed out on that one. Alright. So I'm just going to clip it. So it sits, because as soon as I lift my fingers from here, it's not going to hold it anymore. So I'm going to use clips to clip it shut, and I'm going to top stitch along this whole edge. And that'll stitch the pocket shut. So now we're going to treat it like we normally would. So that's the top. We need a ruler and my chaco pen. And then I'm going to measure, I can't remember what the measurements are. Is that really bad? I'm going to do three quarters of an inch. You could do an inch if you need a, a deeper pocket. With Chaco pens, if you watched my video yesterday, you should always blow the dust off. Uh, it helps a lot, in fact. Makes it less messy. Especially when quilting and you've got like a lot going on. So, now I'm going to fold that at that line and top stitch it. And this is going to make the pocket more 3D. Now, so far, this should all work out on a domestic machine just fine. If you make bags with a domestic, we should be all good so far. Then we're going to do the other side. And I'm going to move that tail, it's all twisted, in the way, there it is, a little sneaky bugger, and we're going to stitch down, and we're going to backstitch, because we always backstitch, filled with donuts, do you know I don't love donuts as much as I used to anymore? All right. So now we've got the pocket. That looks awesome. Now I have to grab the side that I have not embroidered on. So I did do my logo. It's quite subtle. Uh, but subtle's not necessarily a bad thing. Me myself can't do subtle, but I can make subtle. It's fine. Alright, so this is the bottom where we haven't stitched. 
And what we're going to do is we're just going to put it up like an inch from the bottom. A whole inch because why not? And I like, I like measuring an inch from stuff. I don't know if you've noticed, but that is definitely a thing that I do. I'm also going to find that center because that's another thing I always do. Oh, that should be a sticker. Find the center of everything. I love Whippersnapper. It's so good when I go to the horses. This pocket holds the licorice, which is my horse treats. And the slip pocket holds my phone and my asthma puffer so I don't die. It's wonderful. I'm just going to put like a little chalk mark where the center is so that I can line it up. All right. So I can now see where the center is because I want my pocket to be centered. We're going through all the trouble. We may as well continue. So that's where it needs to be. So then I'm just going to hold it in place and draw each side because this is where we're going to stitch it. You can, st you can do the bottom as well if you want. Trace it the whole way around it. So that's where the pocket is now going to sit. All right. So I'm going to pull out the side and stitch it down. hear that misbehaving. Can you? I can. <sighs> These aren't as sharp. These are my old ones. I never throw them out though because, you know, I use them for like every machine. Alright, I'm just gonna go back to where I left off, go over the last few stitches. We're gonna backstitch. Line it back up, down we go, like so. Trim off all the tails. Right. I know you've got tons of patterns, but I thought I would let you know that Ellie and Mac have some cute jackets. Ooh. I love, I love enablers. Woman after my own heart. I've recently discovered I like jackets more than jumpers. Seems to be the thing I wear more. All right, so there's my bottom line. There's my side line. So that's where we're gonna stitch it. So this is just a different way to get the same result, uh, but now the bottom isn't in all the layers. So when we top stitch around this, your top stitching should be super easy. Because I personally think this thing needs a good top stitch. Alright, so now we just squish it down and top stitch. Now this corner might be a bit much, but it's only a corner. It's not the whole thing, so that's good. And if your machine can't stitch that corner, put a rivet in it. It'll look cool and be functional. Everyone's a winner. All right. And so now your pocket is not at the edge. Ta-da! It's a fun hack that you didn't know you needed. So now I am going to put my other half of my press stud in. Again, I need a mark. You know what? I'm going to use a whiteboard marker. Because why not? It can use whatever. I'm going to punch a hole there anyway. I could probably do a biker jacket. I actually have a sneaking suspicion. I have a simplicity pattern for a biker jacket. 
The more I think about it, the more I'm pretty sure I've got one. All right, there's the center. Just did a dot. Hole punch. Punch the hole. The other one's in. So this bottom little spike here is um, springy. So it'll get out of the way, which is nice. Hi, Angela. I, one day, when I have money, am going to upgrade my machine to have the thread cutter. I don't care about auto backstitch. I do care about thread cutter. I think that would be absolutely amazing to have. Um, but I'm not really in a hurry. I'd prefer to get in more types of hardware than go buy a new machine. I actually did just buy some more hardware now that I think about it. I bought, what did I get? I got half, no, three quarter inch swivel clips, strap adjusters, square rings, I don't know. I went with I went with three quarter inch because you guys kept asking for it, so it's coming. Because now my beautiful cupboard has space. I've also noticed that this is no longer stitched on, so we're just gonna fix that problem. Did you hear that? The bombs have begun. Knew it was coming because I did it yesterday, and it usually takes more than a day to be done. All right. So, the easiest way to line this up, because we can't go with what I used to have, we've done weird stuff. So I'm going to press that on, get my ruler, and we're going to roll a quarter inch down from where the pocket sits. I mean, it'd be cool, if you can afford it, if you're off to buy a new machine and you can get all the cool additives, you should get them, because they help. I am not necessarily in a hurry to upgrade my machine to do it though. Alright, that doesn't look right. Hold that thought. So that's straight there, or so it reckons. Alright, so I'm going to draw a line. Draw the line. And that's going to be where I stitch it. So now I can take it off here. And I'm going to stitch it up. And this is just to hide that raw edge. So the other way I could have done this is three quarter, like left the gap, turned it through and just stitched it down. Um, you know. There's a million ways to do the same thing. I probably should have done that so that I could show you, but too late now. It's already done and dusted. Trim that one off. And then we just push that down. And then I'm going to top stitch along that edge. This is really starting to come together now. I like it. One, two, three. Back through the first one. Stitching. Don't get your fingers. I'm really, really overly paranoid about that. Okay. And so now you just check and make sure you can't see any raw edge there. But we are fine. Voila. Next up. Zipper pocket. Now, another little hack that I probably should have done is you fold the fabric over so you don't have to join these. The only reason I did it like this is if you've got directional fabric. When I'm using waterproof canvas, I actually just stick this on the fold so one big piece saves me having to stitch that bit. Not that it's a big deal, but... I have, I have had people hack 
this to add a, a pocket for a gun, you are definitely, you can do it. I don't have a gun, unfortunately. Quite a good shot, but I just, I don't have a gun. So I haven't put a gun section in it. You definitely could. So I'm using this to measure my, my rectangle. Close enough. Voila. Lift this up. And then you want to try and get it straight. So I'm going to go an inch. There. That's the center. That looks pretty centered, so I'm going to put it there. Most of it's eyeballing. I'm not even going to lie. You just eyeball it. Wherever suits you, stick it there. It's fine. Before I stitch the, stick, uh, stitch the second line, I am going to flip it over. And oh, that one's crooked. We're going to take that one out. It's a little bit crooked. It's disappointing. Can you order press on nails? Uh, they won't stay on my hands. I'm very rough. That's why my nails can't last more than two weeks without being refilled. I'm a rough person. I don't, I can't have long nails. I just, I can't deal with them. They're short. But my nails don't grow naturally. I tried that. I tried the everything. I've tried everything to grow natural nails. I don't even need them that long. I just need them past the tips of my fingers. It's not a thing. I'm cursed with great hair and terrible nails. I'll take that as a win. But still. Oh, I've ordered more vinyl. I think I ordered six lots this time. I don't know. I can't remember. I ordered as much as I could afford. Whatever. Uh, but they should be here today or tomorrow. So they'll be up for Sundays. Um, Sunday at 4pm. They'll be... I know I got Peacock, Astral, Blue Lagoon, uh, Purple Frost, Black, and maybe more of this brown. I don't know. I couldn't refill all the colours that are out of stock because that was way too much money. Uh, but I did get as many as I could. So I think I got six, maybe seven. I don't know. I got yellow too. So maybe I got seven. Because I know I've been out of yellow for a while. And I know that this brown was very popular. So I'm trying to get it all. It's just, you know, a process. Hi, Jenny. Yeah, daylight savings. It's very annoying. Wrecks my sleeping habits. Okay, new plan, because that one didn't work out. There. There. And there. All right. Let's try clipping it this time. And putting it down to this vinyl is not my friend. I just can't seem to get this right. Let's try that. <laughs> yeah, daylight savings definitely is not my favorite thing in the world. But not much I can do about it, I'm afraid. All right, so let's stitch this again. Hope like how I did it right this time. Uh, 
Yeah, it's better. I'm happy with that one. Stitch the second line. We no longer do the short ends, people. It just helps. I promise. Alright. Some vinyl cutting scissors. It's alright, I've got more of the boxes coming, I promise. Um, and if you're in one of my tester groups, I'm going to try and smash out a bunch of patterns because I'm nearly order free. And two of my orders that I have to do are, in fact, new patterns. So it's all going to work out. And one of those patterns I would like to do before the end of the year is the lunchbox bag thing. Uh, and that's going to be the next subscription box. And I'm going to come up with something cool to put in it. I haven't actually got there yet, so bear with me on that. Um, I'm going to do something cool. It'll come to me just randomly. It's not with me yet. And all shall be wonderful. And I will either do them as a pre-order or I'll make 60 this time. Could go either way. Well, the boxes depend on what I'm making. Um, so the last one was 40. I don't know how much the next one will be because I haven't designed it and worked out how much stuff we need. You did not tell me to make 50, mother. Don't lie. You told me to make 50 after I sold out. That doesn't help me. Um, and I'm trying to decide, do you guys want another subscription box before Christmas? Or do you want to wait till the new year? Because I don't want to do so many that you miss out because you can't afford them. That's not cool. I'd like to do... I'd like to do them, you know, so everyone can have one. So do you want me to do them like in time for Christmas or do you want me to wait till the new year? I mean, it's all the same to me. I've still got to design it. Hey, I, I listen plenty. Thank you very much. She's stuck. Looks fabulous. It's going to be pretty close to the top. We will survive. It's because I've changed the way we've done it. See? It'll be fine, though. Would you believe I made that noise even when I'm not recording? I'm such a child. I'm a race car going around corners. It's fine. It's very hard for me not to just do it then. New Year. New Year it is, people. I got plenty of time. I like it. And so one of my patterns that I have to design for Lady is gonna have a divider zipper pocket thing. You guys keep asking me to do one, so I'm gonna do it. It's coming. It's part of an order. And right. zip tape. I want antique bronze teeth. In a perfect world. Look at that. Right on top. It's a sign. Or do I want brown? Now that oh no. No, I don't want brown. I literally just design it as I go, guys. It's less stressful. Less stressful. Just, you know, wing it as you go. It's pretty much what I'm doing today. It's working out alright for me. I knew I was making a whippersnapper today. Beyond that, had no real plans. 
Look at me go. It's working out fine. Well, the new year means it's going to have a cool, ridiculous new style name. Because we're going with old-timey insults for my next round of patterns. <laughs> because sometimes it's just fun to be able to say ridiculous things. I'm cool with it. I really am. All right. So now, as you can see, the fabric is not sitting gloriously. So we're going to use some double-sided tape to hold it in place. How's the man tag pattern going? I have started it. I have, that's literally what I'm doing today after this video um, is cutting out all the pieces and making sure I got it right. So I have started it. I've written it out. It's in my book with my terrible, terrible like drawings. Can't draw at all, people. Turns out you don't need to be able to. It's kind of good. Uh, but yeah, so I have started the man bag. I know they've been waiting a while, but in my defense, they also didn't send it to me for ages. So I feel like it's fine. But I am doing it. It is it is literally the next pattern I'm designing. So that will be it. It will be called Harridan. I've already picked its name. It's coming. As for how long it's going to take me to finalize it, who knows? But it, I am doing it. So the man bag is coming. It will be the next release, but not next month. It will be released the month after. Because uh, the next release will be vamp for those that don't get a subscription box or just want the pattern or whatever. All right. See? Now it's stuck out of the way. Love it. Double-sided tape is my friend. Next time I go to Spotlight, I'm going to grab some more rolls, though, because I'll probably have to go into lockdown again. I tend to buy them three or four rolls at a time um, and then I don't have to worry about it for a while. Just having one on hand is not at all helpful. It's cool. I am getting there. I promise. The Harridan bag is coming. I haven't had it in my house that long to work it out um, and I had to finish off all the other stuff I had going on, but it's coming. Besides, man, that could be fun. We're going to call it a unisex bag, though, because it doesn't have to be for men. I'm going to do one in, like, brown vinyl, and then I'm going to do one in, like, some crazy girly fabric, just because I can. And because I want people to know that it doesn't have to just be for men. I also need a laptop bag. Soon. So I have to design one of them. And yes, I could use someone else's patterns, but we both know I'm not going to do that. I'm just trying to be um, inspired enough to get it done. That's all. I'll get there. All right. Now, another thing you could do. I'm not going to do it on this bag because, oh, actually. Hold that. Oh, no. Right. My brown vinyl, uh, my brown edge paint is the wrong shade. Oh, where is it? Either way, so another hack you can do with this is stitch this completely shut and then just back them onto each other and just top stitch it. That would work. You know what? Let's do it. Whatever. The whole point of this is to hack this, and apparently I'm going to hack it a million different ways. It's fine. Yeah, I don't know why we're still in lockdown. I've just, I've been trying to make peace with it and just continue with my life as normal. It just requires a lot more online shopping. And the Kmart near me is a K-Hub, so it doesn't have half the stuff, so I just, I'm not even bothering. I really need more drinking cups. My child has this really bad habit of not paying attention and dropping them everywhere. Uh, so I could really use some more cups. But I'm just, I'm waiting until Kmart opens. Go buy some more cheap ones. Alright, so I've completely stitched that shut because we're not turning this bag through, which is, you know, fun and exciting. 
isn't it? I think it is. Then these <coughs> are going to go here like this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to like sandwich them in. And I'm going to put some rivets in this as well to kind of hold it there. So I'm going to keep about an inch in and then clip it down. And so instead of having a whole waist strap, you can now just have, um, it can clip onto your jeans. Pretty easy hack. You also need two less grommets doing it this way. So if you're scared of grommets or whatever, you can skip that. Oh, I don't want my device to restart. Go away. So this vinyl is from Spotlight. I don't know if they still have it or not. It's pretty old. I've had it for ages. I'm just a bit of a hoarder and I bought it. They had 40% off. So I bought like three meters of both the colors because I'm ridiculous. Uh, and now I'm just trying to get through it all. It was a bit much. I did not need to buy that much. It was excessive and I am not going to do that again. So now we're just going to top stitch it because it's all vinyl, but I have to uh, clip it together really well. Another thing you could do is put piping in here. I have done one with piping and it looked amazing. But we're obviously not doing that now. Oh, no, no, no. So I'd have to go cut it and stuff but you can put piping in this seam it does look super cool i did it with a green one for a customer they said put as much lime green as i could so i did lime green piping on a black bag and it looked amazing you'll notice i'm using a lot of clips that's because i don't want it to shift while i'm top stitching because Otherwise, then I'd have to go trim it all, and nobody can be bothered doing that. And the the edge paint's going to give it, like, a cool look. And it's going to be easy to stitch. So if you're on a domestic, this is a great option because you're only stitching through the two layers instead of, like, four when you turn it through in top stitch. So this is a good alternative. I'm glad we decided to do this. Yeah, so this one you can hook it to your your jeans belt or your slacks or whatever you're wearing. It's instead of having to make a whole belt. So I'm using less hardware. I'm using less vinyl. I'm doing less grommets. We're just going to have the two grommets at the bottom. But I am using more rivets because I'm going to put rivets on this because it's going to look cool. And it's going to make it extra strong. I'm doing this because I had a request for it. I know I've had a request for a lot of stuff, but to do another pattern again, I like to I like to do ones I'm allowed to like slip measurement. So I like to do lives with my own stuff because then I won't get in trouble for accidentally saying what measurements are. Because the only person gonna tell me off is me. I think I so mine, I bought a line. Mine is a foreign language, literally. Um, and then this color is called light tan. So they do put the English on, but the green one, they misspelled the, the English and it says praisinous. And I'm pretty sure it was meant to say poisonous. I think that's where they were trying to go with that, but whatever. It works. It's cheaper because it's in the foreign language and it doesn't take that long to get to me. Now I'm going to top stitch an eighth of an inch because I want to get close to the edge so it's not going to flap open. And I'm going to stop with my needle down and clean up all these clips because they're in my way. And then we're going to go again. So this bit's a bit thicker, but it's still not so bad. And 
another cool thing you can do, and it's too late for me now because I've already made the strap, uh, but what you could have done is you tuck one corner and stitch this in and then you just have one grommet and then you use less clip hardware. Another option. I can't find my black edge coat. I don't know what I've done with it. I know I haven't finished it. I've barely used the container, but it's just disappeared. And my room is not that messy, so I can't even blame it on the mess. It's just, I don't know, gone for a wonder. And when you get back to the start, we backstitch. Oh, oh it's so Now, first thing I have to do is fix this bottom. So because I made those little dents to find the center, because that was before I decided we were going to make it like this, I now need to trim that down so that you can't see the weird point because it's weird and we don't need it. I am also going to just clean up the corners a little bit. All in all, though, we're pretty even. Pretty impressed. Considering this is not the way this was going, I think we're, we're going quite well. Nearly done. First thing I want to do is I'm going to add some rivets up here. They are both going to look cool and just help give extra stability to our little clips. Put one right there, and then good old spacing template. And another one. Did you just say her package went to Mexico? brown but I just I think this was fun it's very costumey but I like it because it's costumey I've also started researching making a Nazgul costume because I really I just I have this inner bucket list life urge to dress as the Nazgul and ride my horse around for Halloween and freak people out I can't do it on base but I've got two years to build a whole costume and it's coming. I love that, that spacing template. I really do. It's just super convenient where I don't have to use a ruler to measure. That's pretty much all it is. There's a ruler with holes in it. But it makes my life easy. Therefore, I like it. All right. Let's do some rivets. Rivets. See, and they're just going to add like a fun little subtle accent to make it look super cool. I personally love the silver version of this better. Oh, I forgot to put the other bits in. I love the silver scales better, uh, but this really does work for what I'm trying to aim for. Halloween costume. I bought all my velvet and I bought a pattern and I was ready to go and my child has now decided I have to be Princess Peach and my husband has to be Luigi and he wants to be Mario. Um, and because I can't get to a spotlight and he only recently made this decision, I have bought a thing. I've bought a pattern online instead because spotlight can take a really long time to send me stuff. And then I would have to like rush and make the whole costume in a day. So I'm not making my costume this year. I've even bought a blonde wig. Should be fun. Um, but yeah, no.
I did want to make a costume. Um, probably next year or the year after, I'm going to make the Nazgul costume because that has to happen. I've been looking how to do, like, foam, the gauntlet glove things. I need to do them in foam because to buy metal ones is crazy expensive. I just, I think it's going to be so cool. So these are, what I'm getting right now is the hole punch for the grommets. I'm just going to do two grommets at the bottom. And I like to stick them right, right in the corner. Squish. Because it's vinyl, it does squish quite easily. I don't know if you saw that, but that was pretty good. Then you just want to eyeball it. Squish. So this has a hole in it, and then you can push out the pen. Where's a pen? Oh, scissors? Scissors will do. You can push out all the little things. You could make confetti like this if you really wanted to. Um, if you're making like a big bag i saw someone make a bag out of a round pattern the magdalena i think but you could put this in there as potion confetti It'd be very cool i did find a cosplay video it looks like it's gonna take me forever uh but i just need some foam and some paint so you never know i might video it just to be like look at the ridiculous things i make myself do I mean, I did video painting my sewing machine. All right, I need two grommets uh, and their back pieces. Excellent. Pop it in, flip it over. Put your backing on and squish. Do I think that my channel is going to turn into cosplay stuff? I promise it's not. It's mainly bags. I just really want to dress as the Nazgul. All right. And then. We can just clip this on like that and I don't have jeans on but the idea is that you can just clip it to your belt loops wherever they may be and then it'll hang there and look super cool. I really just, I don't know if I want to put that colour on. I really want black and I don't know what my black is. And all my other colours aren't doing it. I'm going to buy more colours to match more of my vinyl, I think. Ow. I need a dark brown. So these are all the colours I've currently got. Um, I definitely need some more. But they were like four or five bucks each. And the amount that you use in a bag, I could probably make 50 of these out of one container for five bucks. So, you know. Looks like I'm not doing that today. But that is how we do it with the belt loops. I definitely recommend that you put the rivets in because it's just going to give it that extra stability depending on how much you put in it. Um, I potentially could mix my own brown, but here's the thing. I'd want to mix the brown with the black to get a darker brown. Can't win. Don't know where it is. Uh. Anyway. That is the pattern for today. And that's a good way to hack it. So for those that have a domestic and can't do it the way I wrote it in the pattern, that is a great alternative. My pocket looks crooked. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Um, and I'm gonna go through all of the sewing candy videos that you guys want and see if there's one that I can do today. And then I'm going to finish it as Temptress, and then I'm going to write the man bag pattern 
and get it like try and do a draft today make it up see what i want to change um i am going to skip a couple things i'm not putting pen loops on it just because not many people carry pens and you can always add one if you want to um and i'd prefer to have more card slots i'm gonna have an id card slot too so i've got to alter it a little bit but you know bear with me i will get it done Thank you for all joining me. Don't forget to join the Facebook group and enter the competition. You've still got time. You've still got like two weeks-ish, I think. I don't know. What day is it? Yeah, you've got two weeks to enter and three days. So I will draw it on Halloween. So it will be finished on, you know, I'm going to finish it on Friday the 29th at midnight. So me and the judges can pick a winner and then announce it. It gives me a day to go through everything. Um, so you should join that. It doesn't cost you anything. You can win a $100 voucher and buy all the cool stuff off my website. Like, yay! Anyway, thank you all for popping in. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!